What if I tell you that the diabetes is among the leading causes of death in the United States, ranking the sixth place according to the Centers for Disease Control, CDC? As a chronic disease affecting over 29 million Americans, National Diabetes Awareness Month for November seeks to enhance the public's knowledge on the topic of this disease and its prevention, early detection, management, and other available support systems. Keep on reading and uncover with us 10 shocking things you might, or might not, did not know about diabetes. Number 1. Is there any other type of diabetes except type 1 and 2? You are not going to believe that actually there are three types of diabetes, and not only two. Type 1 diabetes. Also, formerly called insulin-dependent diabetes, or insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus, type 1 diabetes is a form of diabetes in which the body produces very little, if any, insulin. Tropical diabetes makes up between 5-10% of all diabetes cases. Insulin is important because where it is lacking or is insufficient, Sugar, glucose, cannot get into the cells to produce energy. Type 2. Diabetes. This type, which is common affecting about 90-95% of diabetes patients, happens when the body is unable to make good use of the insulin, or when the body produces very little or no insulin at all. Unlike type 1, type 2 diabetes is acquired usually in adulthood, although its incidence in childhood has also risen due to obesity. Gestational diabetes. This type appears in pregnancy and may be a risk factor to the lives of the mother as well as the baby. Gestational diabetes is normally temporary, but it raises the woman's future risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Number 2. You can get severe health complications from diabetes. Believe me that all types of diabetes, especially type 1 and type 2, when not well managed, increase blood sugar levels and if persisted affect the eyes, kidneys, nerves, blood vessels, etc. It also leads to heart disease and stroke complications. Are you aware of anyone who has had issues as a result of the disease? Number 3. Diabetes mellitus includes type 1 and type 2 diabetes management. Not both types of diabetes require medication and insulin injection. Type 1. Diabetes. People with type 1 diabetes have to inject insulin through a subcutaneous needle injection or through an insulin pump, and it can be cured once you get this disease. Type 2. Diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is manageable. Hence, most patients with the condition can effectively regulate their blood glucose levels through diets and physical activities. However, some may also require the use of drugs or insulin treatment may be required. Number 4. Diet and lifestyle can significantly reduce the risk. It must be noted that many of the risks inherent in a breast cancer patient's lifestyle can be easily controlled or even eliminated through diet and lifestyle modifications. A study published in the Archives of Internal Medicine, Harvard Medical School, found that people who ate one serving of oatmeal five or six times a week had 0.39 relative risk reduction of the development of type 2 diabetes. Physiological requirements are easily met when a person introduces a balanced diet and physical exercise into his, her daily plans. Is it too much to incorporate healthy foods in your diet? Number 5. The Ancient Diagnosis Methods You are not going to believe what I am going to reveal. It is also of historical interest to note that in the old days, doctors would often taste the urine of a suspected diabetes patient with their tongue. If the urine is sweet, it points towards a high glucose level which is prevalent in diabetes. Certainly with today's advanced technology and medical procedures, people can be grateful for regular blood checkups to diagnose diabetes and manage this disease efficiently. Number 6. Blood Test for Diabetes – Diagnosis Contemporary diagnosis of diabetes consists in tests that show the level of glucose and hemoglobin A1c which shows average blood sugar levels corresponding to three months. This is why it is important and even a necessity for a diabetic patient to undergo testing now and then. Number 7. Diabetes is a global epidemic. The World Health Organization, WHO, has termed type 2 diabetes an impending new world epidemic 
primarily because of surges in weight, obesity, and decreased physical activity. Diabetes is a common disease that occurs in individuals without regard to age and is spreading all over the globe. Number 8. Myths and Facts Regarding Diabetes Myth Diabetes is not hereditary in my family, and therefore, I will not have the disease, ever. Fact There's an increased susceptibility with family history, though many diabetics report no family member with the disease. Personal preferences are instrumental in one's fate to a large extent. Myth Sugar produces diabetes when consumed in the foods we eat. Fact Sugar is not a direct cause of diabetes, but taking high amounts of sugar in foods worsens other factors like obesity, which is a leading cause of type 2 diabetes. Which of the following myths about diabetes have you come across? Or what are some other myths do you want to share here? 9. Pre-diabetes is a sneaky agent. An aspect that makes pre-diabetes very dangerous is that it is mostly asymptomatic, meaning that while it slowly pushes up the levels of the blood sugar to dangerous levels, the individual is not even aware that they have been diagnosed with the condition. If left unchecked, prediabetes put one at risk of getting type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Around 88 million American adults have prediabetes, and this means that more than a third of U.S. adults have this condition. However, a majority of 84% of these individuals are not aware of their condition. Something as simple as getting screened regularly, exercise and a healthy diet should be used to prevent its advance to a dangerous stage. 10. Lifestyle changes for persons with diabetes. Being a diabetic patient entails choosing a healthy manner of living by observing to the correct diet and exercise. Here are some tips. Diet. This can imply that people take their foods and snacks at the appropriate time in order to maintain normal blood sugar levels. Choose vegetables, whole grain products, and proteins that are lean, and those healthy fats that are good for the body. Exercise. Ideally, this should be at least 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity throughout the week. It is recommended that strength training activities be incorporated into your schedule. Regular monitoring. Check blood glucose levels and take insulin or other prescribed medicines as and when necessary. Diabetes is a chronic, scary illness that one needs to maintain by controlling their dietary habits to avoid risks associated with it. Thus, proper control of glycemia and other factors such as serum cholesterol and blood pressure in diabetic patients with type 1, type 2, and gestational diabetes mellitus contributes to the optimization of longevity and quality of life. Please bear in mind that awareness and education form the basis on which efficient management and prevention measures can be implemented. What are the measures that you will embark on Diabetes Awareness Month to increase your knowledge of diabetes and those who are living with the condition? There are many publications available in print and on the internet about diabetes, its symptoms, detection, and treatment all of which can assist millions of afflicted patients in avoiding severe consequences. So to reach out to other people and help in popularizing the importance of a healthy lifestyle, here's your chance to share this article with your friends and families.